I think nature is so very important to me because it's always been my best friend, my first and best friend, the place where I can always find comfort, solace, where I feel, it may be funny to say, but I feel listened to and, uh, and understood at a level that doesn't happen in uh, any other aspect of life, as far as I can tell. And somehow that relationship with nature has always been there for me and my music. Any time you can be in the wilderness, it's pretty special as far as I'm concerned. But this place has an even greater significance for me. This is where the little Colorado River gives itself to the mighty Colorado and the Grand Canyon. And a long time ago, when I was 12 years old, I was inspired by the headwaters of this little stream to write my first song. Sitting on the banks of a lazy little stream Oh, how I wish it wasn't a dream. It's all I remember. But I'll never forget that it was nature that gave me my voice. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. I've always been drawn to the mountains. I like their serenity. They make me feel at peace. Even amidst uh, the constancy of their changes, the ever-changing skies, the seasons, there's something about being in the mountains that feels strengthening to me and I've always felt the mountains were my home keep changing fast it don't last for long the Colorado I moved here to Colorado in the summer of my 27th year and in that summer got reintroduced to to camping uh, which was then and still is one of my very favorite things to do and one of the great camp trips that we did that summer was uh, during the period of the Perseid meteor shower, August 12th to the 15th every year. We'd had a great little campsite set up on this lake uh, right at the tree line. And then pretty soon as we're lying there watching the sky, and there is that little shooting star there and one there, all of a sudden one was smoking all the way across the sky. I thought everybody was asleep and you could hear, wow, did you see that? For me, it was raining fire in the sky, and I, and I really felt, uh, I guess, firmly established, certainly strengthened in my feeling that I had found home for myself. There's nothing in the world like the American West. The wide open spaces, these mountains, uh, the desert, the incredible beauty of the landscape, everywhere you look, and all the places that I've traveled, everywhere that I've been, there's something about the American West that personifies personal freedom, adventure, a frontier, the opportunity to make our own world, to make it what we dream it can be.
It's personal experiences that John turns into music. Change the blue and the green to something you can't understand. The Alaska Lands Act of 1980 protected more than 100 million acres of pristine wilderness from careless development. For his contribution, John was invited to speak at the White House. Alaska, to me, is America's child. It will inevitably grow and develop, but it doesn't need to do that in a way that causes its innocence and its beauty to disappear. We can add growth in Alaska without losing naturalness and without losing the wilderness. So what is it about Alaska, Stu? I mean, aside from everything about Alaska. Well, it's, it's the trip through the country, like right here. It's the mountains. It's the glaciers hanging. It's the sheep in the hill right over there. There's a beaver house right there. The place is alive. It's September and silver salmon are running up Big River on Alaska's southern coast. John began fishing here 20 years ago. I got a fish! Oh, whoa! Woo! Oh, there he goes, he wants to go. Boy, this guy don't quit. He's... They just don't quit at all. Nice fish, a little five pound rod. John first came to Stu's Little Mulchatna Lodge in 1976. Hundreds of miles from the nearest road, the lodge has become a refuge, a home away from home far from the persistent obligations that accompany celebrity life. At peace in its remote beauty, John's mind often turns to music. I was born in a cabin on Little Manchester, raised in hard times, but I had a good life. From the first time I flew with my father's son, I knew that I'd wind up the bush pilot's wife. We sleep near the sound of a slow running river. I wake up most mornings to a drizzling rain. And we live every day like the first or the last one. With nothing to lose and heaven to gain. Here's to Alaska, here's to the people, here's to the wild and here's to the free. Here's to my life and a chosen country. Once more to gaze at the great northern lights For all of the beauty my children will see Here's to Alaska and me Here's to Alaska, here's to the people Here's to the wild and here's to the free Here's to my life in a chosen country Here's to Alaska and me It feels good to see something wild and free because we too want to be wild and free. And there's so much, especially in modern day society, it's, it's no wonder that these creatures are disappearing because so is that aspect of our lives. But we can remember that as long as there are wild places and wild things. We can remember that part of ourselves, which is a big part, I think, of what makes us human beings. We only have this home recording, but as always, it speaks to the deepest needs of the human heart. He called it Yellowstone, coming home. Returning forever.